Timur the Tinkerer. Timur is a high-ranking dredge. I'll find out what he knows. Cool. More time. I just need more time. Oh. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. It's a trap! Wait, it's a hammer. Oh no, I picked up the shotgun that was there, okay. Okay, let's test out death and taxes. Oh, what? I put it back. No, I can't get it back. What? Um. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay, I couldn't pick it up for some reason. <laughs> this is great! I love this. <laughs> oh boy. Really? Oh, I think I know what I can do. It's pretty obvious. Fuck! Oh, they got me too. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think that's the reason the couch is there. Oh, god damn it. A hundred ways to die in deadbolt. Someone needs to make that into a video. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my scythe. Yeah. 
There I go. Okay, that's a trap to shoot me. There's a mine in the vent! What? Well, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... This is so good. I love this. Please tell me there'll be more of a levels like this. This is great. That's all I wanted. God damn it. I'm probably just gonna jump cut to that one point because that's where I'm up to. Oh god. That was an accident. You're kidding me. There's no pressure plates, that's good. So if I'm going to draw this guy in... I'm going to have to hit this one. Which I think is this switch. This one right here. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I love this game. What was with that? <clears throat> okay, um... God damn it. Just go away.
I'm just fucking up right now. Literally, it's all on purpose. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> like, not badly annoyed. Just annoyed. Oh. Hi. That guy was just seconds from death. I'm a little disappointed, like, the scythe in particular can't hit multiple targets at once. I think that'd be a very cool feature. Like, it would make perfect sense. Damn it. Oh boy. How am I meant to kill him? I'm serious. How am I meant to kill him? Am I going the right path? Am I meant to use my hammer? He has a brain dead. Get it? Haha. <laughs> dead jerks. Blood went below the fucking roof. Um, what have you called it? Flooring. Sorry. There it is. <clears throat> so it was the fourth one. You're up and safe. There are some stray pieces of paper. Immolations was unsuccessful. I am still Tema. I will become a reaper and live forever and find warmth from the fire just as he has. I have been watching him and his warmth. What if I um, immolate myself in his fireplace? Could I find his warmth then? <laughs> what? Blueprints of some kind of portal. It seems to use body parts for construction. That explains why the skeletons have been collecting meat. There's no knowing what would happen if the undead left this place. I have to tell my employer. Oh boy. Um, how am I gonna get out? Oh! Roof. Ascend me, death, um, death by emulation or something? I don't know. Well, that took a while. Two stars, I am so disappointed. That was annoying, that mission. That was fun, though, at the same time. The flames roared alive. Whoops. Demons, they cross the river. Ibsen feels the flame, higher help from beyond. Demons are not dead, but die just the same. Ibsen is getting his car serviced at a nearby garage defended by demons. The return address to his home should be on the car. Demons? Creatures from beyond Sharon's river. They sometimes make their way up as hired mercenaries. The candles nor my employers know how the skeletons are paying for their service. Well, isn't this gonna be fun? I have to find out where Ibsen the Dredged Leader lives. 
Well, hello there. There's another cassette tape. Bomba. Burst rifle. Don't mind if I do. Oh boy. I could use this to shoot this out. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's a big machine gun guy. There is an information sheet taped to the side of the car with an address. Address 7 Circle Apartment 1940 Unit Number 8. Stage cleared, return to your car. Don't mind if I do. Will there be more people waiting? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. You know, there was that one mission where when I returned to my car there was an army of undead. I'm wondering if they'll do that again. Two stars? Really? Weird. Also, I got a new cassette tape. I want to read that. <laughs> See, I'm missing two. Skeleton number one. Cold. It's so bitterly cold. In the darkness of my control, lights dancing across the waves, the cold bit of my exposed bones. I pry every step off of the pavement. The humidity near the docks frees my feet to the ground. I can hear Ibsen in the other room, still telling the shamans about the land of warmth and the ash and the portal and blah blah blah. I'm starting to think it's bullshit, but we are all so cold. The idea of a warmer place is so inviting. More flesh, he'd say. We need more for the portal, it's so close, my brothers. We will soon be embraced by his warmth, for he loves every one of us. It's so cruel, isn't it? I wanted to die, and I still do. But I can't, I have no brain to destroy or nerves to sever. The generals reassemble me as soon as I rip myself apart. And why is it so goddamn cold? Click. Another one, thank god, another dead one. It starts as a dull chill originating from my right shoulder. The feeling grows towards my hands, skin tight against my bone. The feeling grows more, a stirring pain, hot pain, in contrast to the frigid air. Suddenly the cold exits in a brilliant blue flash from my fingertips, and Albina is reconstructed where she last died. Miraculously, the cold subsides for a moment. What a relief, God, what warmth. I know Albina didn't want to be reconstructed. 
She shoots daggers from her, from empty sockets, but the cold was too much to bear. I almost feel sorry and begin to... Oh, is that another body? <laughs> Fucking generals. 